and welcome to my channel. I am Mrs. P. Tarleton and today I wanted to share with you my five favorite Google hacks, tricks, using some add-ons, some no add-ons. Let's dive in. First up, I like to use Google Slides and use an add-on to create an animated GIF with student work. This allows me to share student work to my Google site or just post it in Google Classroom so students can see their work. And I can share a lot of students' work, which is one, one slide, one entry, right? They actually rotate through just like an animated GIF, and it shows a bunch of students' work. This is a great option. You can email it to parents, or like I said, you can post it to your classroom page or newsletter, and that way people can see it. Yes, I have the one in my classroom, but what about people who aren't in the classroom or if we're doing online learning or hybrid learning? This is a great option. So if you need help with creating a student work wall digitally, go ahead and check out that link and I'll link it in the description as well. I have a video on how to do that. The next thing I like to do is use Google Slides to create an animated GIF for steps, steps in how to solve math problems. I'm a math teacher. So these steps can be played over and over and you can post them wherever you insert an image. It's perfect. So if you can insert an image, you can share this animated GIF and it will walk the students through step by step. So if they've forgotten something that you said, they missed a step, things aren't just working out just right, all they have to do is look at their animated GIF and see the steps play through quickly. If you need help with that, of course I've got you covered. Anything I discuss in this video will be linked below on how to do it. The other thing I use Google Slides for is to do animated anchor charts. So instead of just having a poster that the students can zoom in and zoom out, I actually put big chunks and I can animate that and make it come to life a little bit. That's another great option that you can do with Google Slides. Another thing I like to do is create a digital flip book, a digital notebook where I keep my stickers. You can use it for many things. That's another great option that you can do with Google Slides. I use it to organize and save all my Bitmojis. They're all organized, color coded. I can find them very quickly, the ones that I use regularly. One of my favorite things, that's why I've saved it for last, my favorite thing to do with Google Slides is to do the mystery reveal. So students can actually check their work. How do you use Google Slides? Do you have any creative ideas, any ways? I think they're just, they're just awesome. Google Slides can do so much. Sometimes they are underutilized. People don't go to them like they should. Google Slides is so versatile. I actually prefer it over Docs. I rarely use Docs. I do everything in Slides. Bonus tip here. If you're doing something and you want it to look like a Google Doc, change the page setup, eight and a half by 11 and it looks like a page. The good thing is you can add images and all this stuff and you don't have all that shifting around on the page with your words. So you can actually get it exactly where you want it. So I hope you found these tips helpful. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you, and have a great day.